This video is about differentiating using the quotient rule. We use the quotient rule to differentiate when we have one function divided by another function. So in terms of u and v, if we have one function u divided by another function v, we can use the quotient rule. This rule is given to us in the formula book in f of x and g of x notation. So that says when we have one function called f of x divided by another function g of x, we can use the quotient rule. And the quotient rule is v du dx minus u dv dx over v squared. In function notation, it's f differentiated times g minus f times g differentiated over g squared. Okay, let's look at an example of the quotient rule. So here we've got one function divided by another function. So we can use the quotient rule. So we're going to say u is 2x and v is x plus 1. If we differentiate both of them, we've got du dx is 2 and dv dx is 1. So then we just substitute these into the quotient rule and we find dy dx. So dy dx is v times du dx, v times du dx, so 2 times x plus 1 minus u times dv dx, which is 2x, over v squared, so x plus 1 squared. If we simplify by expanding the top line, we'll have 2 times x is 2x, 2 times 1 is 2, and minus 2x, we're going to leave the bottom as it is. And we've got 2x minus 2x on the top. So 2x take away 2x is nothing. So we're left with 2 over x plus 1 squared. And there's dy dx. Okay, let's look at another example. So we've got a function on top. We'll call that u. So we'll say u equals x plus 1 divided by the function on the bottom. And we'll call that v. So v equals x plus 2 squared. So we don't get a choice of which way round u and v go for the quotient rule. u is always on top and v is always on the bottom. So we're going to differentiate both of them. du dx is 1 and dv dx using the chain rule. So we multiply or well, differentiate around the bracket to the power of 1 times by the bracket differentiated, which is just 1. So we're going to leave it as 2 times x plus 2. Then we just substitute in to our formula. So v times du dx, x plus 2 squared, minus u times dv dx. So we have 2 times x plus 2 times x plus 1, all over v squared, so x plus 2 times x plus, x plus 2 squared times x plus 2 squared is x plus 2 to the power of 4. We could simplify the top line by expanding it and collecting like terms, but I'm going to leave it as it is. Okay, here's another example. Pause the video, give this one a go. Okay, so we're going to say u is 2x plus 1 and v is 3x plus 2. So that means du dx is going to be 2 and dv dx will be 3. So we're just going to substitute in to the formula now. So dy dx is v times du dx. So 2 times 3x plus 2 minus u times dv dx. 
so 3 times 2x plus 1, over v squared, so 3x plus 2 squared. I'm going to simplify this one, so I'm going to expand the top line. So 2 times 3x is 6x, 2 twos are 4, minus 3 times 2x, so negative 3 times 2x is negative 6x, negative 3 times positive 1 is negative 3, and we're going to leave the bottom as it is, 3x plus 2 all squared. And then collecting the like terms from the top, so 6x take away 6x is nothing, 4 take away 3 is 1, so we're left with 1 over 3x plus 2 squared.